Hi guys. In this video, I'm going to take a look at my JSP lamps. So, uh, the first three I've got here are mini lights. And I've got three versions. I've got this one, steady burn with amber lens. And that does have a photo cell. Let's see if I can just trigger it with a torch. Nope. <laughs> Not a very good photo cell on that one. It does go off. And I've got the red one, which would have been for the railway company companies. And of course, a flashing one. If I uh, turn this on, you can just about see the bulb in there still lit. Just let that adjust. Now you can see it's gone off if I take it away. Just to prove it has got the photo cell in it. I think out of these three, the red one's my favourite. That was the most expensive out of all three. Uh, that cost me £20 from eBay. Probably a bit steep, but... I have to say, that red one is the only one I've seen. Um, I had other options. Most of them have the handle. I've actually got one that doesn't have a handle. I think it might have fallen off at some point in its life. Um, some of them, these two haven't got it, but that one has. have got the um, bolt to bolt it to a post or something, but these two don't have them. They've just got the handles. And they just take the one 6-volt battery... Uh, they've all got the uh, reflective tape on them. I think that's something in Britain that was um, a necessity, because I've not seen any form of reflector on any other lamp. My American ones don't have them. And from what Australian ones I've seen, they don't have them either. It seems to be sort of a European thing where they've got to have the reflector as well. And you'll see they either had the reflector built into the lens or some reflective tape put on it and see if I can actually get that to reflect not very well not with a torch right shall we move on here we have the JSP micro light which is just a smaller version we can just reach it of the um, mini light and again it just takes the one bulky 6 volt lamp and battery uh, a bit dusty where I've had it hanging in the bedroom I've actually got two of these this one was advertised as brand spanking new on eBay when I bought this one and as I can't actually see anything to suggest otherwise I'll believe that <laughs> I do have another one of these which is downstairs in my shed, which is a lot older and tattier than this one. But again, it's got the reflective tape going around the middle, handle, but again, this one doesn't have a bolt. Microlite, JSP Limited. And JSP, for those that don't know, stands for um, Johnstone Safety Products. And they still exist. And you can still actually buy this lamp <laughs> from their website. I don't know if they do it in LED form, because this is incandescent bulb. 5 volt. It's quite a nice little light. Ooh, I just noticed the handle has got some rust, but that could have just come from storage. That probably isn't from use. Or if it's been used, it's been very little. Do we have a photo? I've got to see a flashing circuit in there, but is it? No, it's not got a photo cell. So I'm just thinking I could see the circuit board in there, but... Yeah, it's just a flash circuit. Right. Moving on. Next up, we have two 
JSP Maxi Light Navigators, and uh, this one is the first one, the Mark One first gen, call it what you will. Rotatable lens. Whoops, that's what I get for doing this on a slippery surface. Yep, again, one or two six volt batteries, same as the Mark II here. This one's got quite a slow flash on it. Reflectors around the edge there. It's actually got JSP written up the top there, made in UK. Um, JSP still supply these, but they do them in LED form now, and you can get them where there's lots of, uh, you know, permutations of them. There's, um, I think on the modern ones, if I remember correctly, you can actually choose between flash and steady burn. So you've got one switch to turn it on off, and it has a photo cell, and then it's got another switch to switch between steady burn and, uh, Flash. This is an old incandescent bulb one. Don't think I ever saw these out on the roads, to be honest. Um, but me and my infinite wisdom, a number of years ago now, <laughs> I found someone who was, um, they were um, clearing out a rental shop where you could rent everything like this I think you know I think it was their own shop they were clearing out so I got a box of 10 of these mark 2 lights for 10 pounds so it's a pound each I pretty much paid so I've got about four five down in the shed I know one of them was broken so I just no, I had the bottom missing so I took a couple of bits off that I could for spares and got rid of the rest so yeah, if anybody wants a Maxilite Navigator, I've got a few. <laughs> so uh, I've only got one more pair of lights I want to look at for um, JSP, and then I can uh, do a third video looking at all the Tildorns and other miscellaneous ones I've got. So uh, let me just get the other two. And the last two I have under the JSP brand is the Plasti Flash which is this one on the left and the Steel Flash which is this one on the right difference being metal plastic and the metal one also has solar cell um, not solar cell, a photo cell and also forgot to add, I've got a couple of the um, navigator keys as well, but JSP tended to use the same style bolts on most of their lamps, so that's all it is. It's just a little triangle, that's all it is. You can get in there with a flathead screwdriver, so it's not really that secure. <laughs> I only know that because I have done it when I can't find my key. I've got two or three of these keys, they came with the... Um, the batch of navigators I bought. I've got quite a fast flash and the light bulb itself is not sitting dead centre for some reason. It's a little bit lower than the centre of this lamp. That is quite a nice flash on this steel flash though. I thought my lights had broken for a second there. Alright, that's still visible. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just the bulb isn't dead centre. That actually looks a bit more like a strobe, doesn't it? But, uh, again, it's got the reflective tape on it, JSP. A bit more awkward to get the um, batteries in, because you've got to try and uh, wiggle this bloody metal plate in there somehow. This has got some damage there. I keep trying to... There's more of these with a different handle on the top, like a square handle. I want to get one of them. If I can. 
I don't know how it's sealed together. Well, both sides are clipped together, then they're riveted through that little sort of hanging hook there. This one doesn't have it. So, uh, yeah, that's my collection of... Uh, there's a dodgy battery connection on there because that keeps going dim. <laughs> Yeah, that's my own collection of JSP lamps. Not as many as the Dorman's. I think Dorman used to be, you know, the primary manufacturer over here in Britain. Um, so the next video, I'll just go through all the miscellaneous stuff I've got. So uh, until next time, bye.